So the question is, I know all you farmers are asking, why would I want to put down Monty's liquid carbon in the fall of the year, or even our Humatil product? Because of the humic product that Monty's has and sells, it's a very activated humic, and your soils really need it for remediation. Now what do we mean by remediation? Uh, over the years, you continue to put more and more fertility on. N, P, K, all of those are salts. And as your soils continue to build up fertility, because you don't use all your fertilizer the year you put it on, then you get a buildup of salt index in the soil. And that is not conducive to uh, microbial populations that's living and growing in the soil. So when you use a activated humic like Monty's, you actually are giving your microbial population in the soil something that really rejuvenates it, rejuvenates it, brings it back to life, promotes the uh, growth a bit, and all you want to happen in your soils every year is more and more microbial activity to release nutrients of fertilizer, to re release tied up and bound up nutrients such as phosphorus and potash. It's a win-win-win situation using li liquid carbon and humatil in the fall of the year. And of course you can tell here on the ground this was after corn last year. And we were talking earlier about our product humatil. Uh, we actually have applied some humatil to this uh, last fall. And this is some of that really tough uh, residue and as you can tell it has broken down really well in fact it even snaps when you when you crunch it, it just falls apart and that's exactly what you want your residue to do but you want this soybean stubble to crunch just like this just breaks apart flies apart um, that's what humatil will do to your residue break it down quicker easier so it's even good to apply the humatil or the liquid carbon to soybean stubble follow it where you have followed behind corn because many times when you don't use a decomposer like that your this corn stubble will still be brittle won't break down won't release nutrients to your crop for the next season so when we talk about microbial activity in the soil one of the best barometers is earthworms. You see these? There's an earthworm. There's an earthworm. Uh, the more and more earthworms I can have and I can see and I can count, some more. We open up the soil. That's what you want. It makes the soil very mellow to poke your penetrometer in or your shovel in. Look at that one. As you can tell, the earthworm's digging a channel right through there. That lets the nutrients go in the soil as well as the water. So this is a win-win to boost your microbial population in the soil, and that's what liquid carbon, as well as humantail, can do for you in the fall of the year.